Leaders in the U.S. Senate near an agreement on reopening the government and raising the debt limit. As President Barack Obama warns, the country stands a good chance of defaulting. Ebrus Kyle Schmoyer joins us live with the very latest. Kyle? Well, Logan, a day of rapidly changing developments here in the nation's capital today. There was supposed to be a high-stakes meeting between congressional leaders, the president and the vice president at the White House, 3 o'clock this afternoon. But that has been postponed in what seems now to be indefinitely as there is some progress apparently being made on the Senate side of the Capitol right now. So no meeting is actually a positive thing at this point. And just a few minutes ago, the majority leader of the Senate, Harry Reid, came out and said that there was, quote, tremendous progress with his Republican counterpart, Mitch McConnell, today. But he also said, quote, we're not there yet. Day 14 of the partial government shutdown and bipartisan talks continue on the Senate side of Capitol Hill. First came renewed talks by a group of Democrats and Republicans led by Senators Susan Collins and Joe Manchin. Under their plan, an agreement would fund the government, extend the debt ceiling, delay the medical device tax under Obamacare, and implement a system to verify income when applying for health care. That plan met with opposition Monday, but portions of it seemed to be part of a more serious negotiation between leadership in the Senate. Both Harry Reid and Mitch McConnell took to the floor to speak of their optimism. Constructive good faith negotiations continue between the Republican leader and me. I'm very optimistic that we, reach a, we, we, will, we will reach an agreement that's reasonable in nature this week to reopen the government, pay the nation's bills, and begin long-term negotiations to put our country on sound fiscal footing. Let me just echo the remarks of my good friend, the Majority Leader. We've had an opportunity over the last couple of days to have some very constructive um, exchanges of views about how to move forward. Um, those discussions continue, and I share his optimism that we're going to get a result that will be acceptable to both sides. Congressional sources indicate the Reed-McConnell negotiation set up this way. Open the government immediately. Extend funding until January 15, 2014, with the understanding that long-term budget negotiators must be in place by December 13th of this year. The plan would also raise the debt ceiling limit with a new deadline of February 15, 2014. And there is an indication it also includes some type of change to Obamacare, possibly an income verification system or a tax repeal. For his part, President Barack Obama continued to urge lawmakers to get something done while visiting a Washington, D.C. food bank Monday where furloughed workers were volunteering their time. They can solve this problem today. And it doesn't mean that the differences between Democrats and Republicans go away. That's what elections are for. But between elections, we're supposed to be governing and we're not supposed to be hurting uh, the very people who sent us to represent them. And one of the major components in all this that we didn't hear much from, kind of had a low profile today, House Speaker John Boehner, yet we heard this afternoon from him, he said that he and the members in the House would take up and consider, look at anything that their counterparts in the Senate came up. But Logan, make no mistake, all of this lies now in the Senate. If we're going to get the government back open, if we're going to avert that, October 17th deadline on default. It is happening in the Senate. It's happening between Harry Reid and Mitch McConnell. There was supposed to be a meeting, a caucus of Republicans tonight on the latest pro uh, proposal that is being worked up right now. We are told that is moved until tomorrow sometime, maybe in the morning. So we're getting indications now that some type of foundation of an agreement's there, but there still needs to be some tweaking. And you know, this is just on the Senate side. When it gets to the House, it could be a whole other ball game. Well, that's what I was going to say to you, Kyle. The Senate never has been the real big problem. It's been the House with the Tea Party contingent and so forth wanting uh, extreme concessions from the president. How do you think this will be resolved between the Senate legislation and the congressional legislation if it does move out of the Senate? 
Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's a lot of pundits around this town of Washington, D.C., and a lot of people think it's probably going to go down this way. Whatever they come up with in the Senate, it's probably going to be along the lines that we laid out there in the story. It's going to go over to the House. John Boehner is going to then be front and center. He's going to have to bring this to the membership and to the Republican leadership within the House. It's thought right now. There's things in there that the Senate's talking about right now that House Republicans especially the most conservative, those Tea Party, are not going to go for. So if this is going to pass this week and we're going to get this through, get the government back open and, and avoid default, it's going to be with a handful of Republicans, all the Democrats, and basically people saying it's going to be the House Speaker that's going to have to bring that up for a vote to get it done. And Kyle, talk to me a little bit about this income verification. I find it strange that the Republicans would want this. They feel that the uh, Obamacare is too much of an intrusion on our lives, and now the U.S. government is actually going to verify our incomes. Yeah, Logan, you know, a lot of the talk in town right now is, is that the Republicans are looking for something, anything, to kind of save face in this whole two weeks, as you said, right off the top of the broadcast tonight. They're thinking they're looking at these small things within the Obamacare health care, the whole huge thing that it is, something that they can get to have the president agree to. Republicans are saying right now they are concerned about fraud in this going forward. They think that people should have to have some type of income verification to get the subsidies to bring their premiums down that they're going to pay under the Affordable Care Act. It's something small that they say they're looking for. Maybe it's a way for them to kind of save face to say, hey, we brought this up about Obamacare. We got to get something out of this. No indications from the White House though tonight, Logan, if the president is going to go along with something like that and sign it. So while we look like we're getting closer, we know we got a couple more days and something tells me they're going to use every one of these days to have something come out of this. All right, Kyle Schmeyer reporting live tonight from the nation's capital. Thank you so much for that comprehensive report.